many developing countries have been experiencing a rapid and unprecedented process of urbanization. At present, more than half of the world's population lives in cities, and over 20 million women migrate to cities every year. By 2030, approximately 700 million girls will live in urban areas. Girls in cities are faced with increased opportunities. They are more likely to be educated, less likely to be married at a younger age, and more likely to participate in politics. However, living in cities also mean girls are at higher risk of abuse. About one in three women worldwide have experienced physical or sexual violence. In Iraq, wars and conflict has a huge impact on women and young girls in the past years. They deserve safer cities. To raise awareness of women and girls' safety and rights, I call on governments to take measures to ensure women and girls' safety in urban cities during and post-conflict. We need to ensure women participation in peace negotiation and decision-making post-conflict. Providing safe and reliable services and equal economic opportunities for women and girls through gender-sensitive planning approaches. Strengthening the performance of agencies that are dealing with protection policies, but also promotion of women and girls' safety issues in the community. Carrying out research to understand the real problems facing girls and women. Everyone has the right to live a safe, equal, and dignified life in a safer cities. Violence against women is a violation of human rights. Therefore, protecting women's safety is a pressing issue.